This diagram charts my company's process for packaging and storing items prior to shipping them. But I'd like to give it a more polished look. Like this. How? All I have to do is apply a theme. A theme determines the colors of the shapes, lines, and text in your diagram. It also determines special effects, such as a shadow or beveling effect. Some themes, like this one, add a background color as well. Here are some other themes applied to the diagram. To apply a theme, I go to the Format menu and click Theme. The Theme Task Pane appears. The Task Pane shows the gallery of available theme colors. I like the Office Dark theme, so I click that. Each theme includes a main fill color. That's the one in the large box in each preview thumbnail. The five small boxes in the preview thumbnail show the theme's accent colors. Certain shapes for each type of diagram are designed to take accent colors instead of the main fill color. For example, if I look at the office dark theme, I can see how the square shapes use the main fill color, but the diamond and capsule shapes use accent colors. I can apply the accent colors to any shape if I want to. I just select the shape I want to color, and then click an accent color on the fill color paint bucket. I like how easy this is. By the way, these theme colors in Visio match theme colors in PowerPoint and Word, which means two things. One, I can insert this diagram into a presentation and not have to tweak the colors at all to have it look great. And two, I can create a set of documents in several Office programs that all have a unified look and feel. Now, I'll go back and put the finishing touches on my diagram's theme. I think I'd like to apply a theme effect to this diagram as well. I click the Theme Effects link near the top of the Theme Task Pane to switch to the gallery of available theme effects for fonts, lines, fills, and so on. Let's click the Decal effect and see what it looks like. It looks great. I'm not limited to the theme choices in the gallery. I can create my own custom themes as well. I'll show you how I created this custom corporate theme to help us provide a consistent look for all the diagrams my company creates. I want to create a custom theme color although I could just as easily create a custom theme effect. I'll switch back to the Theme Colors task pane and click the New Theme Colors link at the bottom of the task pane. I'll type a name for the theme in the Name field. See how clicking the Fill drop-down arrow and selecting a color? Or clicking the Connector down arrow and selecting a color? Or clicking one of the Accent Colors changes the colors throughout my theme? I'm going to play with the tint a little bit more. I can see how my changes will look in the preview area on the right. There, I like that. Now I click OK, and the custom theme color I've created appears as a thumbnail in the custom section at the top of the task pane. And here's my custom theme. Themes help me take a mundane diagram and make it really jump off the page by adding colors and effects that add interest for my viewers.